Oh my gosh, Sega, Sega, Sega! What's going on? <laughs> Miguel Torres here again at Retro Basement. And I want to talk a bit, little bit about Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. Sega was on a roll. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, Sonic Mania was, you know, bringing Sonic back to the forefront. Sits at an 86 on Metacritic and on game ranking at 87%. So it's clearly a good game. But it was made by fans. People that truly care about this franchise. Sonic Team, not so much because it's not composed of the original creators of Sonic. Like Ninja Gaiden, Metal Gear Solid, Dead or Alive. Once the original people leave, the vision for the franchises leave. And they're left with people that either don't care or just don't know how to develop. And not concerned with what, you know, the fans want. Which is why it was smart for Sega to finally do something smart. And hire the people that were making a fan project that turned into Sonic Mania. The Sonic Team thing is not working out. The original people have left the Sonic Team. Give it to somebody like Naughty Dog, like Insomnia. I don't know what kind of contract they have with Sony. Find somebody. Crash Bandicoot came back. An old ass game. Got great ratings. Old mechanics. Maybe Sega should make Sonic Adventures 1 and 2. Oh no, not with the current Sonic team. I'm sorry. Let me stop. Let me stop giving them bad ideas before they go and screw that up. No, those games weren't great, but they were good. They need to give it to this voice acting in Sonic 2. Maybe go the cell shit route. What is going on here? It's not rocket science to create a good Sonic game. Man, if I was a developer, I would be all over this. I don't know what Sega's doing. It may, if they can't get this right, they need to retire the franchise. And give it to somebody that cares about it because clearly Sega does not care. Leave your opinions below. Let me know what you think about this. This is crazy. Sonic has got a four, not a four, a 5.5 .5 from Destructoid and a 5.0 from Polygon and Famitsu. A 999 and an 8, 35% out of 40, but that's questionable. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. This is ridiculous. This is Miguel Torres of Retro Basement signing out. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you know when I come up with new, new videos. Take care. Adios.